integrate the cosine of uh, cosine of x to the a times sine x dx. Uh, so the first move we need to do is uh, substitute uh, a term for u. So we're going to let u equal we're going to let u equal cosine of x. So when we take the derivative of u, it would equal negative sine of x. And that's exactly what we need for this, except we don't need that negative sign, so we need to move the negative sign over here, and that would equal sine of x. Alright, so, uh, so we need to plug in the u and the du into this, so it will be uh, u cosine of x, so that's cosine of x right here, so u to the h, and then sine x dx over here, so that's, so that's negative du times negative du. So uh, since we so we could we could uh, from the laws of the integration we could uh, property of the integration we could take out the negative sign and move it out here to the front so we have negative the integral of u a du so now we are uh, we are ready to uh, take the antiderivative which makes it a lot easier when you just have you know just one term so uh, so it'll be uh, negative so it'll be negative one ninth u to the 9, and then du would, would simply go away because we are taking the derivative. So um, that's that, and then you add the c as always with the uh, integrations, you have to add the c. And so uh, we now we have this antiderivative right here, except we have it in the terms of u, and we, we need it uh, back to the terms of x. So we take this u right here and plug in what we, what we substituted for, which is cosine x. So that would actually equal negative 1 9 cosine to the 9 plus c. And that is the antiderivative of that. Thank you.